Hey everybody, it's Jan from InSales Academy. In today's video, we're gonna run through how should you put together a case study for your software development house or an agency and how you can use that case study in your campaigns, on your website and anywhere else. So I'm gonna share with you a framework which I've never done before, so make sure to check it out. You can even download that thing, so keep watching. Okay, perfect. So before we jump into the case study, I assume you're at the point where you actually identified a vertical where you're gonna move in and where you have done a really good project for, so you crushed it in that vertical. Uh, it can be anything, right, in your industry. And basically, you probably are at the point where you already spoke with the customer and you actually know some really good numbers they shared with you. Maybe something because you designed their application, their sales increased or anything like that. So. Uh, this is not the, the starting point if you're putting uh, together a case study what you need to do before is to do a customer interview with that specific customer where you feel the niche is quite big uh, your case study can be replicable across multiple companies you generally want to work in this industry so in order to do that you need to ask them these questions and sometimes people don't know how to do it so make sure to watch my customer interview video where I've shared with you a document of like 15 questions you should ask your customers and since I'm doing outbound sales for my clients my agency is doing that we do this all the time and we know what works I've erased all the logos and the app, but you'll see actually the full blown case study and I wanna share with you a couple of insights. So, okay guys, so here we are in the picture and you can see it's a simple PDF file. I'm gonna run through everything right here. So first of all, let's just scroll down here and let's go here. What is this section? This is the name of the project of your application, right? So your name here and maybe type of an type of an app. So basically this is a magazine, e-reader app for and publishing platform. Okay, got it. The second basically paragraph, which is the first thing they will see is describing either the challenge that they face or the client's background. So you can choose to do both. The client's background is great with startups. This wasn't a startup. So this was more about what the industry is facing, what kind of challenges is uh, our magazine publishers facing when they, are over, uh, when they are going through digital transformation. If you have a startup, maybe you can tell the background of the founder story. Just very short, very short, like two, three sentences. You can see it here. The name of the publisher is a premium lifestyle magazine publisher in the blah market for high-end consumers, uh, customers, sorry. <laughs> As the media industry is going through digital transformation, the name of the publisher had to come up with a solution for the magazines in order to stay relevant and lead the market, okay? That is sort of an introduction to the case study. Uh, now, as I mentioned, there's a couple of ways to do this. This is just one of them. If there's a clear challenge in the industry, I would go with that. If it's more about the idea or the client's background, I would go with that. So perhaps I'd include right here under the project name, the type of a, a platform you're developing on. So this would be like iOS, you know, Android and web. Your approach, what does that mean? This approach means it's a, what's your solution? What idea did you come up with either for a startup or for an established company? So this mostly speaks about your approach to development, your tech stack, and most importantly, how did you come up with your solutions? In your approach, you can uh, discuss the, the way you handle the challenge. So maybe you say, hey, we, we've done almost 1,600 uh, customer feedback interviews and we found out that the user journey uh, needs a new fresh user interface and we've decided to create a new mobile application. Whatever it is, I don't really know. This is very unique to the client. So here, for example, we say our approach was to build a magazine's publishing platform, extremely easy to use for blah, yet scalable for the future growth. Uh, second part, this there's a misspelling here, but don't pay attention to it. Second part of the project was to deliver the demanding audience and ex exquisite content in a modern, sleek and fashionable design. So it's very focused on uh, the design aspect of the app. It's not about the development, it's more about the design because the whole idea was to, because there's a ton of these applications where these magazines can go and list online. They don't really need their custom application, but what is unique about that, you get a unique user experience, okay? You don't get that if you list in uh, some magazine catalog. So that was unique about this. Now, what about now? Well, you should prepare some sort of mockups and pictures. So you can see on the right side, there's a home page of the app and it actually lists maybe nine magazines. I think they had nine magazines. 
Uh, so it, uh, you can scroll through them and just pick some of them. Now here, you have basic features. You have my subscription and how it works. So this says available for both mobile and tablet, Android and iOS gives a blah, blah, blah to famous well crafted magazine scours. Great. Now this is uh, erased again, can publish new ideas in a matter of just a few clicks, distributing the premium content immediately across all devices and readers. So this screen on the left is mostly for the use, uh, for the per person who distributes the content across all the magazines. So that would be the content writer at the magazine. The screen on the right side is mostly how the users are seeing it, which are the readers. Okay, so it's very easy. You always have these two groups in your development. So here they, we say users buy a monthly or yearly subscription to gain access to all issues and content, which comes both in the form of magazine and standalone articles. Now this is interesting, right? After this, you've kind of described the idea, right? If I read through this, I understand. You've developed iOS, mobile and web. You've done it this way. There's a user, there's a, re uh, there's a writer. I want to hear something else, right? This is not enough. And I see so many agencies do this mistake. So in order to have these things, which is the last thing, are the results and achievements. Okay, so let's, get, let's run through them and I'll give you some ideas later. Here in the left, thing you can actually see some results and achievements so here 4.8 that's the app store rating right so average rating 4.8 out of 5 making one of the best rated magazines apps some people have such trouble coming up with some specific numbers just look at the reviews and if they are great put it there 23 percent of the users uh, make 20 uh, 23,000 users make 23 percent of the exclusive high-end market double so the company was able to double its revenue by selling the new ad space. Now this is very important because the company was able to own this platform and sell advertising on it, which they couldn't do with the other magazines. And this is the financial argument that I'm talking about all this time on this channel for the cold emails, right? If you don't have these, then your email campaign will suck. And it can be anything. For example, some ideas I'm gonna give you. Uh, for example, any award that the app won make sure to put it there. For example, men's health awards. Maybe you have number of users who you're acquiring. So maybe you have like a specific number when you speak to the customer, they'll say, oh, we actually acquire a thousand users every 30 days. Oh, perfect. Put that in the case study. Put that in the yellow freaking bubble. Thousand users every 15 days or 16 or 30. Maybe you have some other number you can quantify. Perhaps the application is 99.9% .9 crash free which means you're really really good on the back end, right? It doesn't crash. Maybe the company was acquired right after the launch of the application when the sales increased, right? So that kind of hints that the application was the reason that the company got acquired. Maybe you can have a very specific financial number, something like the company saved three hours on reporting per week, which translated into $20,000 saved every day. Boom, you just, you just made a financial argument. Or you can say, uh, we've done this project for this uh, you know, train company and we increased their sales of the tickets by 30% one month after the launch of the application. It is directly correlated to the mobile version. Boom, you get another number, you put it there. Damn, people will love you, man. Um, maybe you won a best customer experience award. That tells us that you have a really unique design and you have you really understand their customers which is perfect i'm gonna share this with you but feel free to to come up with your own stuff you know we have clients every one of them have different designs of the case study every one of them talks about something else but we follow this framework so make sure to start off by mentioning the project name and your probably your platforms so what did you develop ios or android or anything like that then talk about client background and the challenges so this is a publisher they wanted to you know be really ready for the digital transformation blah blah so you have the challenge uh, then talk about your approach to development just very short and then add some mock-ups and screenshots of the application and talk about the features talk about the main things in the app from the user's perspective and from the uh, the, the like here from the content writer perspective right and then at the end you need to include the results and you can then put it all together right and you have a case study now i recommend one page pdf file is enough 
you can also put this on your website as a landing page and you can use these case study in your campaign outbound mostly right you're reaching out somebody says hey can you send me some more information sure i can boom here's the case study how about we talk next week <laughs> damn that was easy right in the cold emails you can just basically link to it hey here's a here's the case study take a look blah right it's really cool so make sure to ha to have a case study if you're an agency hey if you have more questions l ask me more questions ask me more questions plus i'm gonna have a link down below where you can download this i know it's a shitty file kind of uh, all over the place and you will have to take it and just get inspired from it uh, but i see either really shitty case studies on the website where it's really short and it just has like tech stack what we did like what this is the worst or not even some mock-ups or I see really well done case studies and the well, well, really beautiful case studies that I see online, it's maybe 10% of all the agencies in the software developments. But hopefully this was helpful. I'm Jan, I bring value and I'll see you in a couple of days. Let me know if you like this video because I won't make them again. <laughs>